Hey everyone, this is uh, Chad Mojito, and um, well, I'm gonna try to finish uh, okay normal because I don't I don't know if you've seen part one, but it's not really necessary because basically the game is all aesthetics. Uh, the writing is pretty garbage, but the visuals. Really classy, really nice music, really nice visual, pretty good atmosphere, mediocre gameplay, and there's some text, but it's it sounds like it has been translated several times and, and totally lost its meaning. It doesn't. It sounds like the person who wrote it doesn't have a proper grasp uh, of the English language, and uh, it has been made by a, a guy from Finland, just like Max Payne, and it's funny because this uh, game feels a lot like the um, drug sequences in, in Max Payne. I don't know if you've played it, but you probably should have, because it's a classic game. So, uh, I got my G Fuel ready, got my girlfriend snoring in the background, everything is perfectly ready for uh, trying to finish OK Normal. So let's dive right in, enough chit chat. Um, interesting. I... Okay. Hmm. The only difference is that... Um... <laughs> nice memory card. Nice uh, little de detail here. Yeah, the only difference is that I'm using um Xbox 360 pad this time, because my ex uh, took her PS4 back. It's just so I I hope there won't be any problems, but evidently I can, oh yeah I remember it's tank controls. Okay, so that's why I, okay okay so it's not the controller that's faulty. It's me P E B K A C. Um, well in that case P A B P E B C A C because it's um. A controller. Can I even get it in the frame? Uh, it's dark anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Last time I couldn't find my way out of this maze. Uh, will I be able to do it this time? Fuck knows. But I'm gonna try. Oh, I don't remember this. There's the syringe thing. Doesn't appear to be doing anything special. I go straight through it, so evidently that's not it. <sighs> that's a dead end. Cul-de-sac. Or maybe it is a fake one. No, it's a real. It's a real wall. Um, not like. The Donald Trump's wall, which is, at least for the moment, completely imaginary and seems like it's never gonna be built. Uh, but uh, I'm not from the US, so I don't really give a shit. Anyway, another dead end. There's a thing in the top right corner of the screen and I've no idea what it is. Some kind of weird ass parallelogram. And there's in the top left corner a swirling twirling tile. And I got zero out of zero. So I think I'm good. Because I, I got the right amount. So that's um, that's something. It, it fucking sure is something. I'm going straight ahead f for a while now and it's... Oh! I thought it was uh, like the stairs in Super Mario 64, never ending, but evidently it's not. I'm gonna keep going in the same direction for a while until I hit another dead end. I'm gonna keep doing this until I'm sure that I've visited all the possible uh, 
exits, ways, paths. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I got my girl sleeping about one meter away from me, so no singing Linkin Park this time. Uh, maybe next time, if you're nice. You know what? You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about uh, doing a FAQ AMA, uh, just like I used to do in the old times. But this time I can only answer using uh, new metal uh, lyrics. I mean, lines. I mean, you know. Are the walls moving? Because that. Okay, I cannot. I cannot touch that guy. I remember last time he killed me. So I'm just gonna go around since he does not seem to be wanting to follow me or able. Uh, there is a heart here, but it's way too high above, so I cannot reach it. Maybe I'm supposed... Okay. This is probably way too elaborated for this kind of game, but maybe I'm supposed to lure the Majora's Mask urchin thing to go into the heart. I mean, at this point, it's all I got. So, follow me. And when I say elaborated, I meant elaborate, of course. So it's following me. So that's good. I think. Follow me! It's not following me anymore. Yeah, it's following me. So uh, I'm uh, luring it. I'm being uh, a, a human decoy. Although I'm not sure the character I'm controlling is human, so... And the hard thing didn't work at all. That's great. Okay, so um, I, I thought I was being clever, but I was just being random. That's sad. Reminds me of middle school. I always thought I was being clever, but I always was just random instead. Those were dark times. I wrote Sonic fanfiction all the time. And uh, Final Fantasy VIII. And I, uh, I also wrote a lot of gangster rap fanfiction. Like, I, I wrote fanfiction of my favorite gangster rappers. That's what. That's. God damn it. I got like dozens of pages of this shit. But it's all in French. And I'm very lazy, so I don't think uh, I'll translate it. I don't, I don't even know where that is. It's probably somewhere on the internet. It's most likely available for the people who are like really good at looking things up, I guess. Hmm. Um, have I mentioned the fact that I hate mazes? Because I'm a person with a very poor sense of direction. Uh, up to the point that once I got lost in the apartment of a friend. Uh, it was a very large apartment, of course, but still, it was an apartment. I, I got lost going uh, from, the, from the bedroom. We were watching a, a movie in his, um, in his bedroom. And I, I had at some point I had to piss so bad because we were drinking beer like uh, one beer every five minutes, and I, at some point I really had to go. So uh, I don't know. I I think that by the power of full bladder, I I I found my way easily to the bathroom. But once I had pissed and had to go back to the bedroom, that. That's when the trouble started. You know, I could not. Oh, there it is. Um, I don't know why it's using my old 
nickname. I, I don't get that. But uh, there's a really aesthetic... I finished the game! I finished the game! I've managed to finish the game! Uh, I think? Maybe it's a decoy! Another decoy! Maybe it's, it's a fake! Maybe it's a lure! So yeah, what I was saying is that uh, I, I managed to find my way to the bathroom. Probably because I had to piss so bad and it was a, a really powerful motivation. And yeah, the game was not finished. I knew it. So I'm gonna keep going on. There's a timer, but it doesn't move. Just get to the end of this level. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that time I got lost in the apartment of a friend. Tom was his name. And it, it was actually his parents' apartment. His uh, parents were diplomats. And they were very rich. And I had a huge apartment in the 16th uh, arrondissement of Paris. Which is like the wealthiest and um, yeah you, you already understood the end of the story it took me 30 minutes to go from uh, bathroom to bedroom The apartment was about the size of a football field. Half, no, I'm, I'm thinking, well, it's about half the size of a football field, so it's not that huge. I remember it was, it was about 300 meters squared. So maybe I'm totally off with the football field thing. I haven't played football in a while. If you're from the USA, what I mean is soccer, but the real name is football. Uh, and uh, what you guys call football is called hand egg in armor. Um, oh, the, the timer is, is moving a bit. I remember it was 4.45 earlier, and now it's 4.47. So, I thought my computer had crashed. Um, so, okay. It's like in uh, Evangelion. Don't worry, I've not seen it. I hate anime and I've not seen any anime, but I've seen parodies of it. And so I, I looked up what the reference was, because I didn't understand it, so, uh, it's, I'm telling the truth, I'm telling the honest goddamn truth, what I was watching was, uh, uh Shiro, which is a Japanese thing, but not for weebs, it's, um, some kind of, I'm, maybe I'm supposed to move, actually, yeah! It's a level, it's not a cutscene. <laughs> ah, what a dork. Yeah, Yusha Yoshihiko. It's a great TV show, inspired a lot by the Monty Python. It's uh, it's full of Japanese references, and it's done in a very Japanese fashion, but it's really like British humor, uh, and, and it's really inspired by stuff like uh, the Holy Grail, you know, and uh, it's a Japanese take on the King Arthur uh, thing, myth, yeah, it's uh, mythology and, and legends, and I, I'm I'm going nowhere. I'm I'm pushing straight ahead. Can I run? How do I run? I forgot how to run. I'm pushing the buttons, but it doesn't. I'm suppose I, I suppose I'm just supposed to go straight ahead. The buttons! 
They do nothing! Yeah, the, only the D-pad is working. So I'm, I'm seeing those, uh... But yeah, watch Yoshihiko. It's, it's a great show. Super funny. It's based on Dragon Quest, actually. There's a lot of references to Japanese culture in the show, and I've, I've missed most of them, but there are like wikis and, and shit when you can look up. Oh! Got it. So that's probably the end, or maybe it's another decoy end. Yoshihiko. Very funny TV show. If you like funny British shows, like the IT crowd and Mighty Bush and that kind of humor, you will like Yoshihiko. It's the same kind of uh, comedy. Well, yeah, I've, I've, I've finished the game. It's confirmed. Okay, so um, that was an underwhelming ending. I, I have to say, it was the whole game was pretty underwhelming, but it, it kept being more and more underwhelming towards the end. Uh, but yeah, really pretty, really nice music, great aesthetics. Uh, the gameplay was mediocre, really, and, and the text at the bottom was kind of garbage but overall it was really cheap so for the price I paid for the game I say it was worth it uh, I, I had I had a nice time and um, yeah I heard that uh, 98 remake is uh, releasing a, a new game now and it's gonna be a horror game apparently so um, I probably buy it too and and play it too for uh, this channel. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And that's about it for today. Yes, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, Patreon and shit, all that. See ya really soon. And uh, yeah, g g gamers uh, rise up. Gamers rise up. Gaming forever. Peace.